gonna go head up in the tree stand remember my harness this time got warmer pants on got the old hot hands as they say in these United States it's Hail Mary time let's go
here we are. Home sweet home. Welcome to Hunting Camp 2020 and beyond, aka the Rebel Camp, as I'm calling it right now. This is obviously my in-laws place where I got my deer originally. And if some of you follow me on Instagram, which I'm sure you, I'm sure you do, this is where I was at the weekend. You probably will have seen I was out here for opening day. As is tradition, every year, my father-in-law, me, my wife's uncle, my buddy James, would go out to James's place and go hunting. And he lived not far from here. And he actually ended up moving. And these guys ended up getting this place. So we came out here this year. And it was a good time. It was a good time. It's always a good time. It was a, just a good catch up. Just, I didn't film, obviously, because what happens at hunting camp stays at hunting camp. But yeah, we just, we just sort of hung out. You know, ate some good food. Drank some beers, you know what I mean? Relaxed, did a little bit of hunting. It was just a good time, but no deer, no, no, well actually I shouldn't say no deer, we, there was does, I saw a couple of does, I actually had two does just bedded down like 20 yards right in front of my tree stand, completely ob oblivious to my presence, but obviously you can't hunt does, and yeah, they just didn't want to move, that was the thing, they, it was like, it was too warm, that was just the problem we had, it's been a warm year, we haven't had snow yet, which Last year, if you've probably seen my videos, we had a decent amount of snow and it was cold. So, yeah, the temperatures that day were like, I say, well, I want to say they were like in the 50s during the day. And then they were like 40 degrees at night. And even in the evenings, like the deer just didn't want to move. So, yeah, tonight's going to be a little different. So, yeah, I, uh, I was feeling a little fragile shall we say, on Sunday, and I didn't actually sleep in here. Me and my brother-in-law just installed this wood stove last week. I helped him out, and this was the first time using it, and those guys slept in here, and I actually slept in my hot tent just out there. But like I say, I was feeling, feeling a little worse for wear, and it was raining, and I actually left the tent up and decided to come back for it. And I did that yesterday. It's Thanksgiving this week. I did that, yeah, what, yesterday? Uh, yesterday evening, came back, got the tent, and then I was thinking about, like, I wanted to go out and make a video for you guys. I was gonna go up north and travel up north, but it's one of those things, it would have been a time crunch. Obviously, this time of year, you're fighting the daylight, it gets dark at 4.30. So, you know, get home, pack my stuff, get all my stuff ready and be out of the house. And I was here and I just thought, you know what, it's gonna be cold. It's gonna be much colder today and tonight. It's probably around 34 degrees right now, 34 degrees Fahrenheit, so just above freezing. And then tonight it's gonna to drop to about 19 degrees. And I thought this would be a perfect time to be here, get in the tree stand and see if I can't make something happen before the end of the season. I also just thought this would be a cool thing to show you guys, because I think it's awesome. You just got two shipping containers, six by six, because six wheels are obviously better than four. <laughs> and yeah, I think, you know, from seeing comments on some of my previous videos, I think I like, I lose subscribers left and right whenever I post hunting content, but I think some people think like, when I talk about hunting, or you know, when I go hunting, they try. I think they think they try and tell me my motivations are different for doing it. Like I do it just because I enjoy it, and I do I do enjoy hunting. But you know, when I talk about sustainable living, I feel like some people think I'm just kind of making it up. You know, like lying, like as is a cover up for my true motivations. When it's not like. When you see something like this, this is it's totally achievable and attainable and it's on, honestly something like a really 
strive towards having for myself you know what I mean this is that the type of thing I want to be doing and it's the type of thing I like doing and it's the type of thing I'd like to mix into the channel at some stage and yeah so I just thought it's a cool thing to show you guys and you guys might get a kick out of it and yeah hopefully we'll get lucky and we might get a deer because my you know between we've been sharing the meat and between me and my in-laws you know we're already you know one deer is goes fairly quickly so yeah next step is to get the bed set up and get all my stuff brought inside and maybe get the wood stove going and then we'll see it's 12:48 now the temptation is there to hunt the evening I mean it's not as cold but the morning it's definitely gonna be real cold in the morning so I don't know I'm gonna risk it I think because what else am I gonna do <laughs> access the bed at the back it had two along this wall and yeah I think it'd be quite nice to have it just here and be able to look into the wood stove so that's the way I'm gonna do it Some of you might think it's probably too close, but I can tell you from being here at the weekend, you can't close the door all the way right now, just yet, so there is a lot of heat escape. And like I say, this is where they had the bed set up before, and where that chair is that I was sat in before, that's where I was sitting the whole time because you, you, you know, you have to be close to the wood stove to really read the most of it, but I do have my zero degree sleeping bag and my little flea sleeping bag, so it should be fairly comfortable, but we'll see. Spoiled, absolutely spoiled, rotten. One of the best investments I've ever made. $15 field and stream flea flag. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, baby. See all that. <laughs> My easy fix to the holes in my bag that's what you get when you own cats so they like to put claws in things so I've got probably an hour, two hours until 
I probably need to start heading up the hill to the tree stand. So I'm kind of hungry, so I think I'm just gonna light the stove and cook up some ramen right now. We'll see, that stove takes a while to warm up and I'm gonna need to have it warm for when I get back to cook dinner. So I got some pulled pork, pulled pork sandwiches, which I haven't had in ages, but I love, so that'd be great. So yeah, I'm gonna do that now. Let that go for a minute and put a big log on it. Oh, it's going pretty quick. You can hear them. Every time I'm here, I can hear them. There's two kids that live across the other side of the valley. They're always, always out on their dirt bikes. You can hear them. Which is good though. Exactly what I was doing at that age. Just out in the country, ripping around on four wheelers and little dirt bikes. It's good, a bit of fresh air, a bit of gas fumes. That's what you need. Stove's taking longer to boil that water than I than I would like. And I wanna wanna head up now. It's almost two thirty. I wanna be in the stand by three. I'm gonna hike all the way up there, so that's my plan. definitely feel a shift in the temperature. It got colder, so it's probably a good time to get in there. Well, it must be. 
be colder because those kids on the dirt bikes have gone inside. I say that and they come out again. Yorkshire Cowboy rides again. Well, I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. <laughs> uh, it was cold, it was really cold up there. And stupidly, I forgot my thermal underwear. And yeah, I decided, there was, where I pointed on the GoPro, I saw 
two does come through there. And that was about 3.30. And uh, legal shooting light said 4.22. That was sunset. And I just, I didn't see anything. After I saw those two does, I didn't see anything. And then and I got out of this, snuck out of the tree stand right at shooting light, which I know I shouldn't do as well. That's what I mean. I know I shouldn't do. And ended up those two does that I spooked. And then down where the does came through, that I spooked another deer. I couldn't see whether that was a doe or a buck, but it was by itself. And I, yeah, it was right where they came through originally. And the way they came through before, the two does, they were like, you know, they came through quite quick. They were trotting, which almost made me think maybe there was a buck chasing them. So I waited and waited and waited. And like I say, it was probably an hour. I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything come through. I had a nice like line of sight where I could see where those two came through. But like, say if they came through from here and went past this way, when I came down the hill, I came down here and then I spooked something from that way. So over here again. So I don't know. I don't know. All I know is it's nice. I'm warm in here and I was freezing up there. So gonna make some adjustments. I've got my fleece lined pants for the morning, which I was wearing earlier today, but I'm just gonna have to wear them up there tomorrow and deal with the smell, if they smell. And yeah, that should be better. That should, that should feel better, like I wear those pants out in real cold weather and I don't wear thermals underneath them, so... But then again, I am always moving and normally have a campfire, so we'll see. We shall see. Anyway, I'm hungry, I'm gonna get that. I didn't never got a chance to eat lunch, so let's get that pulled pork on, shall we? Should have made the whole thing. See if I can heat up some more. Second video in a row, drinking Blue Bombers. Cheers guys. 
Bony apple feet. Look at that sandwich. Go out for a sandwich. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I don't have pulled pork that often, but I do enjoy it. It's one of if I see it on a menu somewhere. I don't make it at home a lot, but if I see it on a menu somewhere, I like to enjoy it. Very good. So not much really going on. Just me, myself and I. So I'm gonna enjoy this. And we'll get ready for bed and then hopefully reconvene in the morning and have a bit better luck, so I will get with you then. Hot. It's hot. Bah. Well, good morning. My plan didn't quite go as planned, but that's okay. I was reading last night about deer activity this time of year, and like I say, it's it's late. It's 25th of November today, which, from what I was reading, means we're into post rut activity. So, the deer will primarily be moving more in the evenings, the bucks anyway. Well, that's according to Jeff over at Whitetail Habitat Solutions. I watch all of his videos and get a lot of my information from him. So I was watching, looking into that last night and he was saying like that they switch, at uh, this time of year, they switch over to mainly evening hunting, um, which is okay, which is good. And I said this at the weekend to the guys that were here, like to my experience of the property, just watching and reading and stuff that I'm learning. Like I say, the property narrows at the top, and then down here, we're in the bottom of the valley, and you have, you know, all your fields, open pasture out at the bottom, and then it goes up into the trees. And my stand's up in the trees, and it doesn't really give you the best access in the morning because obviously if the deer are moving um, from what I know deer are kind of nocturnal and they go out at night to feed and they'll be on their way back to their beds in the 
in the uh, eve in the morning. So I've found my experience so far is that going in the afternoon is better because we went up in the mornings before you know, the weekend and didn't see anything. But every time I'm here and I have in the evening, I seem to have better luck. I seem to be able to sneak into my stand a lot better in the afternoon without causing so much of a disturbance because obviously you know like trying to get in there in the morning in the dark we've got the headlamp on and things like that so yeah things that are nocturnal and can see much better in the dark can see me coming a mile away whereas like I say in the evening I've had a much better lot sneaking in there in the afternoon and just waiting and that seems to work but I'm dreading I'm dreading I might go up and check my trail camera before I go up this afternoon and I'm dreading it because last time I didn't hunt in the morning well the more that was the day I shot my buck I didn't I was supposed to go in the morning and I couldn't get there on time and a huge eight point buck came right underneath my stand so I'm hoping that's not going to be the case and just laughing at me yeah. here I am so we'll see, but I don't, I don't think that'll be the case. I haven't heard any gunshots or anything this morning. And typically out here, if there's deer around in the morning, you'll hear in rifle season anyway, you'll hear it. So, so yeah, that's my plan right now is probably go hang out. Well, hang out, maybe see if there's any chores around here that I could be doing and then go up in the evening or the afternoon although i was reading like some people say you know you have a it's a good time of year for an all day sit you might see movement in the afternoon like between literally 10 and 2. my trail cameras have all shown like you know 3 30 and i think it was no well it was yeah around 3 30 about an hour before legal shooting like there seems to be activity that's when those does and stuff came through last night so yeah we'll see
So you might be wondering what I'm doing. I'm just said I'd do some chores and I know they'd mentioned he wanted to burn a load of brush. I don't know what the chance is of a fire, forest fire are out here, but I do know that having a bunch of brush piles around your sleeping quarters and where you keep all your equipment probably isn't a good idea just in case because once they dry out or if there is a fire then they'll go up so I know he wanted to do that so I figured whilst I'm here help out a little bit and do some brush burning get some of this dead pine on there get it nice and hot and then hopefully burn some of that green stuff got a couple of bigger pieces here so I'm gonna try and throw a rope around them and drag them out stand remember my harness this time got warmer pants on got the old hot hands as they say in these United States it's Hail Mary time let's go Well, I'm back. Look like <laughs> some Soviet agent in <laughs> in a James Bond movie or a or Mission Impossible or something like that. Uh, but yeah, that, that tonight was even worse. It was a little bit warmer. It was like 45 degrees compared to yesterday. I remembered to bring all my stuff. The hot hands definitely helped. Having this definitely helped, and yeah, nothing. Didn't see a single thing, not like yesterday, there wasn't even any movement. So that's the way it goes sometimes, I guess. You would think for something at the bottom of the food chain, squirrels would be a little more stealthy, but no, some of them are just like... Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> just letting, making sure everyone knows they're there, so... I don't know. Each to their own, squirrels, each to their own, I guess. 
but yeah something a little different for you guys you know the country living I'm sure for some of you it's probably just your day to day life but and it was for me for years but yeah it's fun anyway it's a good time like I say Thanksgiving this week so happy Thanksgiving to everyone enjoy Thanksgiving whoever's celebrating it I uh, should probably have time to go out and do a regular overnight trip this weekend and probably have another video for you next week so stay tuned like if you like it subscribe if you haven't already go check out some of my other videos and as always I will see you on the next one take it easy